So today I'm taking my Christian mama to the mosque for the first time. Ready, mom? Yes, I'm ready. I'm excited. <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'm excited. Just gonna be a new look, new experience. A new look. Okay. So I'm letting her wear my abaya that I took my shahada in. Okay. Ready? Let me see how cute I'm gonna look. <laughs> Let's see. It has like a bunch of. Okay, start up here. Oh yeah, this this is a good show. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So wow. here. And a little ponytail. Ready? Mm-hmm. I'm open and ready. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the jersey can stay like just stay the mm -hmm. rest of the other fabrics. Oh yeah. it's a fabric. Yeah. Alright, good. First layer done. Already looking dapper. Already looking Islamic. <laughs> Mashallah, you're beautiful. Okay. Okay. Leave it like this just to show you. You're not going to leave it like this. Oh, okay. okay. I was going to say, isn't it, it going to fall off? Yeah. I'm just to show you. Do you see, you see yourself? <laughs> so I'm a whole different person, guys. A whole different and I feel it too. You feel it? You would, um, it would fall off really easily. Okay. So, this is just like double coverage. Normally, you wouldn't have to do this if you had like an undercap, but mm. you can't find like. Okay. But okay. now you're ready. So do you have something like this so I can have a little bit of bling? Because okay. you know I like bling. Oh. Okay. And you can fix that in the car. Okay. All right. Let's see what you look like in the camera. Come closer. Camera. <laughs> look at my mom. She's a Muslim now. Mashallah. <laughs> she looks beautiful. For today. For today. <laughs> For, For today. today. Oh. Look. <laughs> Okay guys, so we're gonna get in the car because we're gonna be late if we don't, but we'll see you guys in a minute. So what thoughts do you have going to the mosque right now? Um, just trying to visualize going in. I think for the majority of the people, they were on like one accord. They were all doing a ritual, which was neat to see the unison. So any other thoughts? What are your thoughts on the sermon? Um, I noticed there were some similarities mm -hmm. uh, with Christianity as far as... Uh, yeah, so I do notice that there were some similarities as far as, you know, talking about humanity and our, you know, Allah, I believe it's their God, so. No, it's the same God. It's the same God. Okay. Allah literally so, means God. Like, oh, Arab Christians okay. call God Allah. It okay, literally got just translates you. to God in Arabic. And I, and I think you're right. I think that's in the Bible, but okay. So, just basically, what's just basically saying, you know, do the right things and Allah will bless you. That's kind of how I translate it. Mm -hmm. Do the do the right things, and Allah will bless you. You'll get abundance. You'll get you know. So pretty much, kind of a prosperity message in a sense, like in Christian, no, where a preacher preaches about prosperity. You know, um, I do like the communal part. 
where they talk about helping humanity. You know, you hear so much about Muslim and make it seem like it's such a bad, like Muslims are bad, which I mean, I know, you know there's all kinds and stuff, but because of some of the stuff that has happened, that Muslims are tied to, mm-hmm. it just seems, but to see that they, it seems like they're a community of people with hearts for the community. Mm-hmm. That's what I got from this, so. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah, it does. And I think what you said is like accurate and what a lot of people feel and what a lot of people think. And for somebody watching an experience like this, they are probably thinking the same thing and feeling the same thing. So it is, I mean, I think you should say it on camera because a lot of people are thinking it and it's it's true for a lot of people because they don't know what it's like to actually have the experience and to go into masjid and like see it all happen and like hear the sermon. A lot of people never get that opportunity just because of like a lack of knowledge or they don't know anyone that'll bring them or they're scared to. So you just coming along, that experience expands your container personally because now you know so much more than what you knew before about Islam just by having that experience. Like an experience is worth so much more than just like book learning sometimes because you actually get to go for yourself, see it with your own eyes and feel the energy with your own you know, body. And you just, now after this, I'm sure you have a little bit of a different viewpoint on Islam because you've actually experienced a small snippet of it. Yeah. Uh, it's, you know, I can say I had the experience of coming in. Mm-hmm. Um, and I mean, if I was to contrast, there's similarities, but the one thing I know for me, um, and maybe that's a whole different topic, is, you know, like really getting very immersed to the point where it's not ritualistic and that you actually like feel uh, connected, you know, in Christian and as you grow, how you grow up, mm-hmm. the anointing and the, the really like worshiping part, that mm-hmm. part for me is the part that I love the most. Mm-hmm. That does something for me, my mm-hmm. soul, my body, my spirit, and makes me really feel connected. Mm-hmm. And again, I, this is just one experience for right. me, but that's the one difference I would say. Like in my Pentecostal world, we raise our hands as a form of surrender. Mm-hmm. You can also bow, mm-hmm. but here in, in Islam, they bow their heads to the ground. Mm-hmm. Well, that's a difference. But I uh, think it's a signify li- the same thing? A little, li- signifies, I think, the same thing, but a little bit of a difference. So we do raise our hands as well. Mm-hmm. We don't raise them all the way up, but mm-hmm. we raise them up whenever we say praise be to God or whenever mm-hmm. we, we, we do raise our hands up and then we go down. Mm-hmm. So there's a raising of your hands before you, you go down. What is the significance of bowing down, getting up, the whole ritual? So she's basically talking about when we were inside the mosque and they were doing the prayer. Um, and what I was telling her was that sujood or sajda is what it's called when you're bowing all the way down during your prayer and it's just full subjugation to God. It basically means that like you are lowering yourself as much as you possibly can as a human to praise God. So that's why you bow when you pray. I wanted to touch on what you said about like the difference between like Christianity or Pentecostal because some Christianity is not you know it's very orthodox but between Pentecostal versus Islam so it's a little bit different in that way but there is still like you still feel it in your heart when you don't know what you're doing and it's just automatic and like you're, you're not knowing what you're saying or what you're doing it can seem like just oh I'm just going through the motions kind of like if you don't believe and you go to church like you can just go there use the left two lanes to turn left onto the arizona 202 loop east ramp when you actually like connect to what you're saying and connect to what you're doing it can get very emotional and it can be something that like really moves you and then what i do notice and love about the prayers in arabic is that they very much sound like a song like when they're sung they didn't do it that like that today but when they're like when they're saying the prayer and it's like sung like a song it is actually really 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 beautiful and how i view islam is like it's just a different way to praise god mm-hmm. that's you that's how i view mm-hmm. it it's like you can praise god in so many different ways it's just a different way to praise god and i think it's there's more focus in islam on the community and doing good in the world than just having like a really like i don't even want to say like a really personal experience but like it's more important i think for you to actually go out and do good in the world than for you to have like uh you know a holy ghost dance kind of moment i don't know how else to put in but that's what's continue more on arizona to not for saying one you and can't have miles. a holy ghost dance kind of moment but it's more value that you go out in the world and be a good person it's less about you and more about how you're contributing to society so i'm not saying one's better or worse right. But I think it's just the focus is different. But you can have a very, very like deep experience as well. It just looks a little bit different. I think that's what it is. It just like it's portrayed a little bit different. But both are beautiful. I think both still are, you know, just the same thing, just different ways to praise God. And um, I think that's a valid point.
that's what that type of worship in Pentecost do for me. I feel connected when I'm in my, because I'm someone that's in my head a lot, not in my heart, even though I have a big heart. But get it, that gets me out of my head and really connected and make me feel more connected and purpose and want to do good. I'm pretty sure in Islamic people have their, like you said, the more you believe into stuff and the transformation for them. But I'm saying for me, I like the out of body part of it because mm -hmm. it just really propels me into a deeper and I don't know it's a different feeling yeah for me yeah and I think a big part of that I think because I've had both experiences like mm -hmm. I've felt that deep connection with both right so I feel like when you're born with something that's right. all you know and it's familiar it's easy because there's no apprehension you're right. like oh I believe this since I was a kid I really right. don't know anything else so I fully believe it and you get to have that openness and that trust and you just dive right in and you can open right up but if it's something that seems unfamiliar right. or scary or you feel like you know you might you know go to hell or be punished for this then of course you're not going to open up because it's it's unfamiliar to you it's something new but if you were born into islam you'd probably be saying the same thing just right. from a different perspective so not that again nothing's wrong or right but when i think about like if i was born into islam i feel the same way i'd be like well i wouldn't understand Christianity right. or like because i feel that way when i pray Right. In Arabic or whatever. So I, I think it's just interesting how like and what I we're think, open to. Yeah, and I, and I think it's probably because you've had both experiences. It's mm -hmm. probably because you have that foundation of that already inside of you, yeah. and to add on top of it, yeah. but for someone that don't have that, because it takes some really really deep surrender mm -hmm. to get out of yourself mm -hmm. where you don't even realize someone else is around. Mm -hmm. So yeah. that's really a deep connection. Again, yeah. if you didn't have that, like you said, you were just born into Islam, and someone who don't know that, to them, that's all they know. Right. But I, because I'm contrasting, mm -hmm. and I feel blessed to have that experience, mm -hmm. because I know what that experience does for me. Mm -hmm. In a spiritual realm, or even from having stressors in life, or feel whatever, it's a go-to that gets me out of my head, into my heart, and I feel more connected to it the divine mm -hmm. uh, purpose so mm -hmm. but yeah. you're right yeah I love that and I think if I didn't have the background of Christianity and of the Pentecostal experience specifically mm -hmm. I don't think I would have ever even you know considered Islam if I didn't already have that that like spiritual background of like the foundation of religion so I feel like it did help me to feel safe in some ways stepping into Islam because I already saw so many similarities between them and it was just another way it's like an adding a tool to my toolbox it's another way for me to praise God and it doesn't take away from anything I've already done in my life or any way I've already praised before it doesn't lessen or demean it or take away from it I think it just adds to it which makes me feel really blessed because there's not a lot of people that get that experience of both or really of three different things because just just you know my own relationship and before I came to Islam like it was over a decade me In just a mile, forming a relationship with God Tapatillo myself Road. without any religion so I really have lived like three different lives so I'm really grateful for that experience because a lot of people don't get that um yeah, so yeah. and I, I mean I must add for me personally that has been the best experience of my entire life it's really I'm really glad to have that we'll see you guys later bye